Hi, my name is Elizabeth Furches, and this is my lab skills video about the quadrant streak plane. So first I have my test tube, my petri dish with my auger plate that is labeled for each quadrant, and it has my name on the back, my inoculating loop, my striker, and my Bunsen burner. So the first step is to light the Bunsen burner and then get your inoculating loop and hold that over the flame for a couple seconds to sterilize it. Next, you get your test tube and take the lid off with your pinky and hold it there. Um, inflame the mouth of the tube for a couple seconds and then dip your inoculating loop into the test tube to get the sample of your original culture. Next, you will flame the mouth of the tube again and put the lid back on and set that aside. Next, you pick up your auger plate and swipe through quadrant one about 10 times or so, making sure not to overlap or go into the other quadrants. And then you put that down and flame your inoculating loop again to sterilize it. After your inoculating loop has cooled, you will pick up your auger plate again and turn it 90 degrees and then swipe a couple times in quadrant one to get some of the sample and move it to quadrant two and then swipe through the whole quadrant just like with quadrant one. And then you put that back down and flame your inoculating loop again to sterilize it. Next, you pick up the auger plate again after your inoculating loop has cooled, turn it another 90 degrees, swipe one or two times through quadrant two just to get some of the sample, and then swipe into quadrant three, doing it the same way as with the other two quadrants. And then you put that back down and flame your inoculating loop again to sterilize it. Next, you pick up your auger plate again, turn it another 90 degrees, swipe one or two times through quadrant three, and bring it into quadrant four. Doing the same swipes, not overlapping or going into any other quadrants. So then it should be all spread out like that and you put it back down, upside down, to prevent moisture from getting in. Flame your inoculating loop again, and then you'll get your petri dish and incubate that to promote the bacterial growth. 